everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all having an amazing Wednesday so far. Today I have two super delicious salads. But before we jump into the video, I notice a lot of you love my videos and watch my videos very consistently, but you haven't subscribed yet. And I would really appreciate if you guys took a second to subscribe. This way you don't miss another upload. We'll leave a link down in the info box for you guys to click on. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. going to start with this crisp honeydew and ham salad perfect for the summertime the first thing we're going to do is prepare our melon and you can use any type of melon that you have and you're just going to cut it in half scoop out the insides and then we're going to start creating little melon balls you can totally just do chunks of melon but i think it adds something special making them into these cute little melon balls and it just makes it so much fun to eat Once I have my little melon balls formed, I set those aside and then I start creating the dressing that we're gonna use for the salad. And for the dressing, I'm using champagne vinegar. I like using champagne vinegar because it adds just the right amount of tartness without being too sour. And instead of regular sea salt, we're gonna use smoked salt. It just has a beautiful contrast with the melon and the ham. Trust me, don't skip this step. And then I mix that into the vinegar to make sure it dissolves completely before adding the rest of the ingredients. And to that, I'm gonna add some extra virgin olive oil, and I will have all of the exact measurements down in the info box for your reference. After you whisk it for a few seconds, it'll thicken up because of the oil, and then you can toss your arugula in there. You can use any greens of your choice, but I prefer arugula because it has a nice peppery flavor that goes really well with that vinaigrette and also the ham. Okay, so for ham, you can use any type of ham that you want. You could even use prosciutto. I like this one, it's called serrano ham. It's almost like ham and prosciutto had a baby. That's exactly what this tastes like because it's a little bit salty like prosciutto, but not super salty and it has that same texture as the ham. like to add a little bit of fresh ground pepper and then I drizzle it with some balsamic reduction and this makes it perfection that balsamic adds a little extra sweetness to the rest of the salad and it's just delicious Next, we're gonna be making this pasta salad. It has a really delicious lemon vinaigrette and we paired it with some Parmesan chicken strips to go with that. So the first thing is we're gonna prepare our chicken strips because we have to create kind of like a little assembly line. In the first plate, we're gonna put some flour and we're gonna season that with salt, pepper, and a little bit of paprika. Next, we're gonna make an egg wash and all you need for an egg wash is just egg, salt, and pepper and then give it a good whisk. And in the third plate, we're gonna be adding some Italian breadcrumbs. You can make them or you can buy them, whatever you prefer. And then into that, we're gonna add some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And we're gonna add that into the bread mixture and give it a, a good mix. To prepare the chicken strips, all I do is add some salt and pepper. First, you're gonna dip it in the flour. Make sure you coat the piece of chicken completely and then you're gonna dip it in the egg wash. Once that's completely coated, you're gonna dip it in the breadcrumb mixture and make sure to give that a really good coat. And then we're gonna put our pan on medium high heat and add about a tablespoon of any type of oil. I'm using avocado oil. And then we're going to pan fry these babies. And because the pieces are so thin, they really don't take that long to cook. to see that they're nice and golden brown on one side and then you're just gonna flip them over and let them cook a little bit longer. Just be careful because they have cheese on them, they can burn very easily. So keep an eye on them. If they start to brown up too quickly, you can turn the heat down a little bit. Once they're done, just turn the stove off and leave them on the stove just so that they stay nice and warm until you're done with the rest of your dish. 
and for the pasta i'm using this quinoa pasta but any pasta will do of course the regular pasta is the most delicious option but if you want to go a little bit healthier you can use brown rice pasta lentil pasta or quinoa and while that's cooking, I'm gonna make the sauce for the noodles. This is a really simple sauce. I'm sure a lot of you have had it at restaurants before. All you do is add some Parmesan cheese. I like a lot of cheese, so this part is gonna depend on your taste. And then I add some pepper and also chili flakes. This part's also optional and it depends on how spicy you like things. I like my food spicy. And then we're gonna add a lemon juice. Start with half a lemon. If you want a little bit more tartness, you could add more lemon juice. And then we're gonna add our extra virgin olive oil. I'm using a garlic infused oil, but if you don't have garlic infused oil, you, you can just grate a little bit of garlic in there or you use garlic powder. Once my noodles are done cooking, I wanna make sure that they're super hot still. And then I add the noodles into the bowl of the mixture. Because the noodles are so hot, it's gonna melt that cheese into the pot and it's gonna warm up that oil and it's gonna make all those flavors come together and make it super yummy. I always like to make a little extra sauce because I like to put the pasta on top of some greens. Here I'm just using a spring mix with a little bit of arugula and then I add the pasta on top and that sauce will really marinate into the greens and it'll form this really delicious salad. And then on top of that I put my chicken strips and then I like to add some fresh tomatoes. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like the recipes. If you try them out, don't forget to send me a tweet, snap me, Facebook me. Oh, I have a Facebook now. The link is down below. If you missed last week's video, I showed you guys how to make this delicious burger. Like it is so good, you guys. So definitely check it out. Don't forget to come back next week for a 4th of July video. I have a really fun one planned for you guys with food, decor, all that fun stuff. So I hope to see you guys again and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.